Okay, so here I am. I'm working on serial number three of the uh, Colt model 1900 with the sight safety. I just I'm doing a little bit of a recheck on this with the underneath the grips in the sear spring and the magazine catch making sure that all of this is 100% clean. We had some concerns so we're going back through a few of these just to make sure that everything is correct and clean and in good shape. Now the reason I'm doing this little film right here is I removed these grips and it has Cecil H. Taylor May of 1900 scribed his name in the back of this grip. So 110 years ago, almost 111 years ago, that was scribed on the back of that. Now, I did a video on this, one of the vault cleaning sessions, a few months ago, or excuse me, about a month ago, that uh, I talked a little bit about this. I, I haven't watched it, so I don't rem remember exactly what I said about this gun, but it is the third production, not prototype, but production uh, handgun, automatic handgun here in the United States. So a very significant piece of firearms history here. Now this gun is almost 100%. It's got a few things with a bluing that are uh, done. And this one has uh, some unique knurling on it that it's the only one known like it. And it's got the knurling removed here in the back. And that was done probably because the recoil on this that would take and make the rub or the web of your hand raw as you fired this. So that knurling was done, just removed right in here, and it makes it about a 90% because it's missing this. And it remains right up here underneath the hammer and down here lower in the grip on the back strap here. And then on the front strap, it's all checkered and knurled here, and then the trigger is checkered and knurled. So, there you go. That's serial number three apart. So now we'll start to put it back together. Excuse me, I got the wrong one there. This one here. I don't want to confuse these grips as we reassemble it. So, Another interesting piece of firearms history. I hope you're enjoying these videos as I do them. I don't want to be too redundant and start to bore anybody with these. If you're like me though, it'd be really hard to get bored with these incredible pieces of firearms history. They're something else I feel very privileged to be able to work on these and take my time and clean. Each one of these takes for an initial cleaning it's maybe up to an hour, some a little bit more, some a little bit less just depending upon how dirty they are from the years of being oiled down and stored. Like I've mentioned in the past these need to be cleaned occasionally to get the deposits of oil off of them. You don't want that built up oil to remain on them. Okay, one more screw and then it gets another final wiping of the rim oil. And then we're good to go. So just another short video to show you number three here and some of the things with it and some of the graffiti from 1900. Okay so one more just quick shot of this. Here's number three reassembled and you can see what excellent shape this is in. It's just it's 
if I can get the bluing to reflect, you'll be able to see it. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. No other word to describe it. And then you've got the uh, magazine. Looks as good as the day it came out of the factory. So there you go. Third production automatic pistol ever here in the United States. Just a fine example of firearms history here. Hope you enjoyed. Let's see here. I have it out of frame over there earlier. There you go. Absolutely spectacular. Sight safety still works. Alright, hope you enjoyed. Be a good shot right here. There we go.